mini bike ride. This is what it's like to ride the Z125 Pro. So if you've ever wondered if you should get a mini bike. You definitely feel like you sit on top of the bike, not down in it, that's for sure. No problem keeping up with traffic. We're in third gear, going 33. We can zip around pretty good. I noticed that when you downshift though, you have to rev match. If you don't rev match, the clutch does not like that at all. The mirrors aren't bad, I got mirror extenders on. So I can actually see around my shoulders. That's a must for this bike. Definite must. best thing about this bike is you can pretty much ride it flat out, full throttle. You pretty much have to, actually, to keep up with traffic. I don't know if on any other motorcycle I've twisted the throttle just flat out, but you pretty much do that every single shift on this bike. Because it has no power. We hit 50 there. And then when you have a mini bike, you can do this shit. Right beside you. See ya. Right around them. Speed limit is 45. Alright, we're in third gear. There's 40. 45. Get the fourth gear. Hit 52. I'm not full throttle. Let's crank a full throttle. 55, 56, and now we're gonna lose speed uphill. You can go up to like 55 is fine. Zero to 55 is a usable usable mile per hour range on this bike. Going faster than that is not really easy. 
So if you want a bike that goes up to 60, this is your guy right here, Z125 Pro. See, we'll keep up with this guy right here. No problem. Oh, even faster than him. We can take the corners faster. Oh, oh, I thought that guy was coming out. Oh, shit. Gotta watch for those. to come down this road because I think there's a new brewery around the corner here. I want to drive past it and see if it's where I think it is. See we're going I'm flat out. This is full throttle right here. 57 57 is it on the uphill. Oh shit, no, this is the wrong road. I gotta go down this road. I'm gonna make a turn. It's over here. God, it got cold. It was like 70 something today in the afternoon. Now it feels like it's 60. I need to check the miles per gallon in this thing too. I haven't been watching it. supposedly it gets like 135 or something crazy I don't know if that's true we're gonna have to verify that seems high This bike is perfect for zipping around carry. Because the speed limit's never like more than 45, so it keeps up just fine. We're going 50 with ease right now. Alright, up here on the left, I think is where this place is. A brew brew house or Beer house or beer, beer garden? That's what it is. Beer garden. Oh, it's in here. Slow down. Right there. Is that it? Um Yeah, beer garden. German spelling. Hmm, interesting. We have to check that out. to come back and get a beer when I'm not on two wheels. All right, let's get out of here. I'm gonna go this way.
I wish I could see myself riding this. I bet I look ridiculous. That's the thing about these bikes. They are a fucking blast to drive. So much fun, but you look like an idiot. Because you look like you're riding a toy. Because you pretty much are. Whatever. Don't care. Oh, and my fuel light is flashing. Alright, that's the first time I've seen that. really don't see a whole lot of these bikes around. Here's two bikers. They're going to be like, what the hell is that guy riding? I'm going to wave to him. See if they'll even give me a courtesy wave back. I haven't got a nod. <laughs> oh, God. This bike probably weighs less than that guy. Oh, I love it. back let's see if we can pop a wheelie real quick we're still learning how to do this all right first gear oh, a little bit let's try it one more time came like six inches off the ground one more time Ooh, didn't let it out quick enough there it was in the air a little bit we're gonna learn figure it out can I pop a wheelie yes can I ride a wheelie absolutely not 